definitely have its challenges and uh that's right you know when you're learning something new but mm -hmm. and the greater the challenge the greater the reward right that's what they say <laughs> yeah 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 that's right <laughs> yeah i know sometimes you want to take tommy behind the shed you know right. <laughs> <laughs> you know it. <laughs> but, uh, hey, hold on now. Hold on, Leon. Hey, but you know what? You know, we hey, we send candidates that don't get the job, you know. We uh you know, everybody has to have their things, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not behind the shed now. Oh man. No, I ain't gonna take that. <laughs> no, I can't. Hey, it's growing that. growing pains, right, Tommy? Can't do that. Growing pains. Me. Yes. <laughs> and uh, Jolly and Leon, peace kids. That's Erica. I don't know if she's on the chat, but I just want to introduce everyone that's here since we are here. And, and Shay, welcome. I can't see you all in, at all. Did I did I move something out of the way? Oh, no, um, here it is. Here you, here okay. It is somewhere over here. Um, okay, all right. <laughs> so we got two minutes before we get two started minutes. here. So okay. So Jolly, are you new to recruiting or you know, I'm new to to really trying to make the recruiting work. Uh -huh. But I've been, you know, working at it for a while. But in terms of getting all of the the automation tools and everything together that is something that I'm, I'm having some problems with yeah. that you know and that's a lot coming at you at one time mm -hmm. um, you know and uh yeah you just have to have to digest it and right right, right. because all these pieces you know you got i even still I, you know i get them confused so you got mm -hmm. and then the technology kind of changes you know i started with uh, with the old videos, the modules mm -hmm, before mm -hmm. he did this new set. Mm -hmm. So since I started, you know, we went from octopus to lead leaper. I know to, I had got know. I set up an octopus and it's still on on my asparagus right. in the space of where the um the other the uh, data scrapers should be. Mm -hmm. So now I can't even get the data scrapers set up on on the asparagus right. because you see. Yeah. See, and I just switched from Lead Leaper to the Data Scraper. Uh, I had started Lead Leaper, and I right. still had some, uh, you know, some credits. Right. So I had, to, had to use those up. I started there too, but I never really got started. So both of those are on the Asparagus, but I, but the uh, the actual one um, that I'm working on isn't on there. To to. You know, uh, well, no, you have to ask somebody to explain that because I don't think they're quite on Asparagus. Oh, okay. Not, not, not. Not, the, not the email scraper. Not, no, no, the email scraper isn't on there. That's what Lead Leaper is. Lead Leaper is the data scraper? It's, it's a data scraper. The data scraper is the one that... It's we're using what now. is it called because there's so many data scrapers how it's, how do you know which because I, called, i've been picking up a few of them it's called the data scraper i have that one that was the last one that i got yep, yep. and that's so the one that i'm paying 99 a month right right and that replaces lead leaper you don't need lead leaper anymore you can cancel that and okay and see the thing about data scraper is yeah it's 99 dollars, <laughs> but it's unlimited mm-hmm Whereas it's, lead leaper, you have to pay. You know, I think you the, for everything uh, as it grow, goes up. Right. I right. just need to be able to learn how to get the, the data scraper to work for me. So, how long have you been doing this? You know, you've been in uh, recruiting for a minute. Recruiting or in this group? Recruiting. <laughs> well, I've been recruiting for more than twenty-five years. Okay, so you have some connections out there. <laughs> you you <do>? few. <laughs> okay, well, you want to farm some over here. <laughs> I'm just saying, hey. <laughs> I'll farm some over here once I get, get my extra. 
Hey. You know, I had a. I, I was driving in a in a you parking lot in a, a I police officer <laughs> waved me down. Right, a sheriff. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. They were actually recruiting. Yeah. You know, so they wanted they were trying to find people to you know be officers. So okay. she was giving me the spiel, and I said, you know, I said it's funny. I'm. I said I'm a recruiter, mm-hmm. and she goes, Oh, well, you can help us. I said, Well, <laughs> I'll recruit for free. <laughs> 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 yeah. nah, you know, I, I had nah. the sheriff try, try to get me to recruit for free as well. So, yeah, yeah they, they think it's our duty to do that. Yeah. Mm-mm. Nah. Uh-huh. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> All right, y'all. Not well, for free. I definitely want to go for ahead free. and uh, <laughs> uh, jump in. And since okay, everyone. Tell me. Yeah, yeah, let's go ahead. It's about 6 3, so we have some people jumping in. So uh-huh. I'm going to and get started because I definitely want to be respectful of everyone's time oh, here. Oh, for sure, for sure. Definitely. So thank you everyone for joining. Thank you. Thank you so much. Really, really excited about it. Um, throughout this call here or through this webinar, feel free to go ahead and if you have any questions, um, feel free to go ahead and post it in the chat as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but we're going to be going through as far as sanitizing the list. Obviously, you saw the email. You've been muted. You're muted. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. So this whole time I was speaking and I was muted? Uh, oh. just, for, oh. just, just for a minute. Oh, OK. <laughs> I, and I, I think like, he okay. kind of muted uh, all of us for a second. OK, I right, got you. Mm-hmm. Perfect. So yes, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Thank you so much for everyone from coming. And um, yeah. Without further ado, let's get started. Um, so throughout this call, if anyone is feeling willing, I would definitely like to see if someone would be able to willing to um, share their screen and you know, so that way we can have a list that we can actually go through and clean, right? You um, can so, do mine. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> you, can, you can set mine up. <laughs> That's what you would have to do because it's so messed up. <laughs> well, we can do a couple of people here, so. Okay. Awesome. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. All so right. when we're actually going ahead and when we're, before we actually import our list into Opera Web Tools to actually start sending those emails, one, we have to make sure that our list is spotless. And when I say spotless, I mean, do what you need to do to clean it out. If you have to throw some bleach on there, with Ajax, Comet, whatever the case is, that is fine. But we mm-hmm. definitely want to make sure we're cleaning this list. The reason being because recently, we have been seeing a lot of spam and uh, bounces coming back. And we've been doing, my programmers have been working literally around the clock to add features and tools to help kind of prevent that. Well, I would say prevent that because there's almost no way to prevent spam. Mm-hmm. So it's just, that's in the eye of the beholder but to kind of help you guys um, kind of like a safety net to lower that risk of those spams and bounces coming in. Okay. Right. And currently right now, the Oracle Web Tools, we actually service over a hundred, actually over 200 recruiters at a time. And mm. when those spams, we saw those spams and bounces coming in. Imagine if every recruiter got a spam or bounce that came in, right? Mm-hmm. And that's almost per day. So that's almost 200 spams per day. Right. So we had to act fast. We had to, because not only to help you guys protect your domain, but to protect everyone that's using our pro web tools. Because just like how each individual domain or can be blacklisted, all pro web tools can also be blacklisted, which actually affects everyone, whether you're doing great or not. It affects everyone's capability of sending those uh, sending emails. That's why we had to act fast to make sure that we're putting stuff in place to help you guys lower the risk of those bounces and spams. And we've been working crazy, <laughs> like crazy, right? So I definitely want to go through when it comes to um, cleaning the list. Let's jump into a list here. So that way, if anyone, uh, does anyone have a list that they would be willing to share their screen with so that we could jump in and as far as cleaning the list? Um, if you have your hand raised, I can't see you. I think there is actually um, a reactions icon at the bottom of your Zoom. 
Oh, there you go. Jolly got it. Look, <laughs> beat me to it, Jolly. <laughs> awesome. Oh, and I see as well. Okay, perfect. So Jolly, if you don't mind, I'm actually gonna go ahead and unmute you. Now your list here, actually, let me see if I can find you here. Okay. There we go, perfect. Mm -hmm. Now your list that you have, is this list before you've ran it through my email verifier or after you've ran it through my before. email verifier? It's before? It's because actually I'm gonna tell on myself, I haven't ran it through the verifier. Ah, see, that's one thing we have to have before we start sending those emails because without a clean list, you're definitely well, going to I get thought it. I was verifying it when it th when I would go yeah you know, when I would go through and it would it would have me to pan and see what needs to be changed is that well, that's not the verifier is it mm -mm. go ahead okay. and if you want you want to go ahead and pull up your list here because okay. you definitely want to run through cleaning your list here. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you can then, everyone. You definitely want to run through cleaning your list before you run it through my email verifier. Because one, okay. I know my email verifier has a credit system. So you have to pay for a certain amount of credits and those what you use to verify your list. Okay. Now, if you're not sending to like Yahoo's and Gmail's and Hotmail's, things like that then it'd be best for us to actually clean those out before we run it through my email verifier. Cause we're not, we don't need to verify emails that we're not sending to in the first place, one. And two, we don't need to use those credits for emails that we're not gonna send to. So it saves on the credits and it saves on the time when it comes to verifying the list. Okay. You know, what I'm gonna do is since I'm having a difficult time navigating my system here, Mm -hmm. I'm going to pass the baton over to someone else to do it. Okay. To be the, to be the one. Because it's going to, you know, it's going to take me a while to um, grab everything. Okay. Uh, well, well, like right that. here, let me see. Well, just for the sake of time here, Jolly, we're actually going to go ahead and move on to the caliber staffing. Yeah. They have their hand raised here, so I definitely do appreciate Okay, go ahead. That. We can jump back. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Hi. Hey, hey. Hi, man. How's it going, man? Good. How are you doing? Hey, I'm doing great. No complaints here. All right. So what you want me to do is share my uncleaned list, correct? Correct. Now, is this pre my email verifier or? Yes, post I have both. Perfect. Awesome. So one second. And I'm digging that chair too. It kind of looks like a racing chair, like a, a sparkle chair there behind you. This one? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that back one that you have turned around. Awesome. All right. So this is my completely uncleaned list straight out uh, from being scraped. Nothing has been done to this one at all. Okay, perfect. Now, if you don't mind, can you uh, make that full size so we can all see, uh, yeah. see the list there? Thank you so much there, Joe. Perfect. Now, as we're going this again, feel free to go ahead and post your questions into the Zoom chat there as we're going through. Um, if you have a question at that time, feel free to go ahead and post it in Zoom chat. Now, from my understanding, when we have a list like this, right? One, the second email where it says email second, we're not using that at all. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but is that correct, Joseph? Correct. So what... I've been doing, I know what a lot of the other recruiters have been doing is we will um, we will remove all the Comcast, AOL, and Yahoo, mm -hmm. Yahoo from the list mm -hmm. before we clean before we clean the list. Yep. Um, and then if there is another email that fell in the second slot mm -hmm. that wasn't um, Yahoo or whatever, we'll transfer it over to there, but then we delete the entire second email list. Ah, I see. I see. Okay, so can you actually walk us through on how you actually um, clean out the Gmails, the Yahoo's, sure. and all those? So on, I'm on an Apple, so I have to um, command all, and then okay. command copy, because I have to take everything into um, Google Sheets. Okay, so you're actually taking what you have in whatever spreadsheet you have numbers and you're actually putting it into another sheet. Okay. Yes. 
Now, is this second sheet, is this going to be for all the valid emails? Or are the ones that you've already cleaned out? Or what are we putting in this um, spreadsheet here? So I'm putting the entire list in that spreadsheet, the entire list, just because this on Apple, the one I'm using, it doesn't allow me to edit this the way I need to. Oh, so okay. I um, put it over here into Google Sheets because that way I'm able to find all of the, um, I'm able to find all the AOL, Yahoo, Comcast fairly easily. Got you, got you, perfect. I'm curious um, if everyone, if you don't mind um, posting in the chat here, what spreadsheet system, whether it's Excel, Numbers, Libre, Google Sheets, what um, system you find easiest to actually complete the filtering? Because I know some people use different ones. So I'm curious to see which ones actually people use the most. CSV on PC, how do you copy the whole list? So how are we copying the whole list again here, um, Joseph? Um, I do command A for all and then command C to, to gotcha. or command B to paste it. To paste. Okay, perfect. So if you're using a Mac, command A to select all. If you're using PC, it's control A. Awesome. It's just, it's take numbers. numbers. I usually don't have this. First of all, I usually don't have a list this big that I'm trying to do. Oh, how big is this list? Uh, this one is... I can't, I can't even look right now. Numbers. Oh, <laughs> got you. I think, I think it's like four, four or 5,000. Okay. All right. No worries at all. Thank you so much here. Well, while we're waiting for that, actually, I'm going to, um, actually, I'm going to call on Christian because he has, he said he had a big idea. So I'm very curious to see what this big idea while we're waiting for this to post here. So Christian, if you want to go ahead and unmute yourself, Please let the world know what that big <laughs> what that big idea was. Oh, um, I'm sorry. Were you asking me? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I'm sorry. So, um, <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to put you on the spot there, but. <laughs> um. So yeah, what I've what I've realized is that, like, I mean, you can, you know, go in and you know. Um, so like, let's say you get it from data scraper and mm -hmm. you clean it and let's say, you know, you get the yahoos, the SBCs, the MSNs. Um, I got my notebook right here. So let me work real quick. So yeah, well, so let's say, for example, you get the Comcast, the yahoos, the Y mails, the AOLs, the Gmails, the Hotmails, the Bell files, and you can only really filter seven things out on, you know, on, um, the Excel through Apple. And then let's say you copy and, you know, paste it you filter all those out you copy and paste it into a new form and then you okay. take out let's say you know sbc global att verizon you know the, the all the other ones that you can filter out as well so after you put it through email verifier um once you get it out of email verifier this is really what's going to change i think the whole game you have to delete all mm -hmm. the free domains everything yes free domain yes yes even if you, because here's the thing, all pro web tools doesn't, they have all the email, they have some of the emails, but they don't have all the emails. And yep. we, us as users don't have all the emails. So mm -hmm. I've seen earthlink.com on there. Can I've, you actually, can you show us? Do you have a um, file that you can download from my email verifier? Um, I've been, real quick? Yeah, give me um, a quick second. Um, let's see. Cause I know somebody has a floor right now, so I don't want to step on their toes. No, you're good. No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> we're, we're still waiting for that that list to to uh, to update. Okay, let me um. Or does it, does anyone have one? Oh, there we go. Oh, it posted now. Okay, perfect. So while okay. you're getting that ready, there, Christian, we're gonna jump back to Joseph while you okay. get that uh while you get that list. Okay, just let me know when you're ready. Awesome, okay. sounds great. Thank you, Joseph. No problem. So what I normally do is I do Command F mm -hmm. on Sheets specifically, and I press the more options, and I'll type in AOL. That's mm -hmm. it, only AOL. And what I do is I replace it with something that whenever I pop it into my email verifier, it's going to automatically throw it out because it's, mm -hmm. it's not a valid email at that point. Because just because it's 
Bob at AOL.com, just because mm -hmm. AOL's bounce, it's not, it's going to say that it's valid still. But if you put uh -huh. in, replace AOL with a whole line of percentage signs, it's going to kick it out. Got you. Now, what if there's a name that is valid that contains AOL? Like, how are you filtering around just the AOL.com rather than just the name that says AOL? Because wouldn't that pick that up too as well? It would pick that up. It would okay. pick that up. But we're talking about like maybe a, a few at most that it would mm -hmm. take out. Okay. Because, you know, other things like Comcast, there's, if that's somebody's right. name, you know what I mean? <laughs> right, right, right. Okay, cool. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's see how let's see how this works because this is curious. I've never seen this this way before. So I put find AOL and then I'll go mm -hmm. to replace all and it replaced 251 instances of AOL with that. So now all of these right here that were on there as AOL, they've been changed to a completely invalid email. So now I well, once I do all the others, I can throw them into my email verifier and it will kick them out under invalid. Got you. Now, with this being done, will this still count as a credit from my email verifier? Would it does, you want to just I, delete them out the system? Or it I'll does. It, it counts it as a, it does count it as a credit against you. Mm -hmm. But I, I buy my verifications from there in large bulk. So I have over a million credits. So I'm not sweating like 200. Got you. Got you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. I mean, if you wanted to go in there and like manually take these out, like like you really are penny pinching, you could definitely do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then everything's just keep replaced. doing. I see. I see. Gotcha. Okay, so then after you do this, you actually just run it through my email verifier, then you come from there. Right. And then gotcha. I'll I'll alphabetize it on here from Z to A where everything mm -hmm. valid is on top and everything invalid is on bottom. Awesome. Awesome. So now with that being said there, that thank you so much for that, Joseph. No problem. Thank you for uh, showing us here and sharing your screen. Really do appreciate that. So question here it says you use email verifier, not data scraper. Uh, can you elaborate on that, um, Roxanne, if you don't mind? And in the meantime here, Joseph, I was curious because now as you're deleting those columns, yes. I'm glad that you're doing that because that's actually my next point I was actually going to oh. get to. So, Sorry. No, you're good. You're good. Um, hey. So, oh, yep. Okay. Right. Hey, uh, thank you. Uh, just so really quick, I know we were, um, we, we have been using um, Data Scraper. So you use Email Verifier instead of Data Scraper? That's what I was trying to, is that the uh, same? I see um, you actually use both. So you use data scraper to scrape the emails, right? Basically to create your list, right? Which will look something like what we're seeing now with Joseph. And then once you get that list, you clean it out, you run through cleaning out all those free email, verif uh, free email domains, like the yahoos and gmails. And then you put that into my email verifier and that's going to tell you which email addresses are actually valid and which ones are not. So you'd use both of them. Okay. Yes, and that, that's a really good question. Yeah, and yes, that's very important to run it through the My Email Verifier. So that way, the lower it pulls out all those invalid emails. Now, if you don't mind, Joseph, can I use your sheet as an example as well? Yes. All right, perfect. So, oh, I see Tyler. Before we do that, I see Tyler has a question. Um, Tyler, if, yeah, if you don't mind, go ahead and mute yourself. What's yeah. Up? Okay. Thank you, Tommy. Um, yes, sir. Just a quick question. So I haven't ran any campaigns yet, but I plan is to hit the ground running Monday uh, on all awesome. products. Got everything did. So I just had a question because when I was setting it up, like following the modules that Ben did, um, mm -hmm. I ordered a list. It was 646 emails or so but I'm limited, it says to 200 to start out. So I was just wondering like, as he's doing right here, should I make sure that I break it up into like 100 email lists and import them like separately or what's mm. what Good like? question, good question. And I would say, no, you do not have to break up your list. The reason okay. being is because we actually created a tool called the prospect and pools tool. Yeah. And that will actually break it up for you. So you can import that whole list 
And then you can tell the system, you said your limit is at 200. So you can tell the system every day, add 200 people to my campaign for you. That way okay. you don't have to break it up and then import them each day. I tried that and it was like, giving me like this error so i don't know that might need to be something we need to go through together oh but yeah for sure keep, yeah keep absolutely yeah. yeah great question great question uh tyler perfect oh i see bettina has a question hey bettina hi tommy um i just pulled up all pro Mm -hmm. and my account was under review and now it says mm -hmm. restore this account and when i click on it mm -hmm. it gives me three options yep. to, to do so i don't know yep. so i just choose one absolutely if you don't mind sharing your screen actually that is actually and you guys are beating me to <laughs> you guys are beating me to the punch yes if you don't mind sharing your screen for me sure. so that way we can look at them okay Can you see? Yes, you can. Awesome. Thank you so much. So yes. So when you when your account um, becomes under review, right, it usually means because you have a high amount of bounces that came back or a high amount of spam complaints that came back one day, right? So when you click on restore my account, you have three options here that you can use. You can choose whichever one you would like to restore your account here. Okay. So yeah, because I have like 290 and, and I know why when I was on a call with one of the reps, he had me, he walked me through going back through filtering or adding some accounts there. And once I did it, he realized like, oh my God, there's duplicates. So that's why I got a lot of these bounces back. Um, and okay. so that's, that's the reason why, I, you know, he told me I should have had you to click something on on one of the screens that said you know not to include the ones that are already in this the emails are already in the system he forgot the after the fact so then my mouse hmm. rate went up yeah well, i'm curious that there was duplicates because the system doesn't even allow duplicates yeah he but said let's see when i went to let's see i think it was the now you know tommy i'm not a, a scholar at this so you have to <laughs> no you're okay <laughs> So I want to say it was probably a campaign that I went to where you set it up and it's like you have the three or four sections that you choose from. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Yep. Um, and then at the the far left, I think it's the lat the the fourth block is where you you choose the actual file and then there's a second, like it, it says click existing mm. tabs or whatever. He, he told me I should have clicked that and I and he didn't, and I didn't click it. So gotcha. It was, but yeah. Gotcha. Okay. So yeah, that's. I see where you're getting at. Yes, that's something completely separate. And yes, we can actually go over that uh, uh, separately. Yes. Yeah. I know. I know what that was. Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I I know exactly what you're talking about okay. there. So yeah, we we can actually you can touch base with that as well. And so to resolve this, I just go. And mm -hmm. I choose one. Yep, you choose one. Yeah, and actually, it's great that this because this is actually something that we just added brand new to help you guys as well. Because the reason for this webinar is to prevent those bounces and spams from coming back. So hopefully, you probably won't even see the screen. Although you know, you have a nice face, smile there on there. No, I know you guys like to see my smiling face. However, <laughs> the point of this is just to prevent from you seeing the screen uh, as well. So, which so option? Oh, go ahead. I see on let's see option one. Um, mm -hmm. Take a training course and and then file an appeal with an explanation of why your emails results in a high complaint or bounce. Mm -hmm. Um, and then number three is make a few clicks on your account and get back to sending emails. Is there one particular one that you recommend besides paying your beautiful smile $95? <laughs> um, no, it's more of a preference. Okay. So this is to help you guys so that way you have more options rather than having to you know, wait for a time where you're available to do a screen share and do a review. Now you have three options that you can choose from and you can choose which one is best for you. Okay. Hey guys, for those who, who were on the call last night, um, when Ben was talking about having, we went to Fervor, is it 
Fiverr. Fiverr, yep. And had um, one of the, the guys there to work with the DMs and all of these other these things. Was that for us to help preventing the, the bounce backs and all of that? Because I did it last night, mm -hmm. as I said, do it. Um, and I had everything configured. So I'm not mm. sure if that will work in sync with, with what we're doing here. Um, yes, it, it, it is supposed to work in sync. It's more kind of a back end part to the email part, like editing the DNS records and stuff. So that yeah. way, yeah, email service providers, they, they, they see you as more, I guess, legit. It's supposed yeah. to help you get into the inbox, yep. And then when, I, when he did it, when the guy did it, I had none of those things attached to my website. So he was like, mm. we have none of these things. So he actually went in and configured everything and said, I should be good to go. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. So I'll click on one of these and get started. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Bettina. Thank you, Tommy. I'll stop sharing now. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> now, see, Shamim, what causes so much bounce emails? Very, very good question. That bounce emails are caused, actually, actually, Bettina, what, which one are you actually going to choose? I'm curious if you don't mind. I'm sorry if I'm putting you on the spot, <laughs> putting you on the spot here. Oh, she went on mute. Okay, so we actually come back to that here. I'm now, actually, I'm actually oh. going to try option three. Option three, awesome. I think I'm going to do option three. Awesome. Oh, go ahead and go for it. <laughs> okay, I'll do it now. Oh no, you don't have to do it now. I'll just say okay, yeah. Cool. That, cool. That's good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to try that one. Okay, sounds right. good. Now, Shamim, the what causes so much bounce is basically just not cleaning list or lists aren't being cleaned properly. And again, that's the reason why we did this webinar because with some of the recruiters that I've worked with, I've seen when it comes to filtering out those um, spreadsheets, right? And we're filtering out the Yahoo's and Gmail's and whatnot, right? Rather than actually deleting those Yahoo's and Gmail's, what is actually happening is you're hiding them. So if you have a spreadsheet up and you see that on the left-hand side, usually where it says one, two, three, four, five, or so on and so forth. And you see it says one and then four, like it skips kind of numbers. That means those rows are actually being hidden. So they're still on your spreadsheet. You just cannot see them. So when you save that file, you're importing all the, uh, you're importing all the valid and invalid emails at the same time, if that makes sense. So when you send emails, you're sending emails still to those invalid emails and those free email domains. So that's why we wanted to go through and actually take a look at um, some spreadsheets here. Oh, I see Christian here, you're actually ready. So I see your hand is up there. You wanna go ahead and uh, meet yourself there, Christian? That, yeah, Um. so I just like, I really get this now. So I just, I'll kind of, I'll go from when you first get from Data Scraper and then I'll show mm -hmm. you what I have. So when okay. you get it from Data Scraper and you download it, you take out, you know, all the emails. So the Comcast, the Yahoo's, Ymail, AOL, Gmail, Hotmail, Bell South. Mm -hmm. So like, and then can I share my screen, please? I'm sorry. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So, and then I have a question for you as well, but yeah. So let me do this. So, like, let's say for example, like I have this filtered out for all yep. the ones. Yep. So I'll delete it and then I'll I'll read it filter so I won't confuse people. So obviously this is all the valids. Yep. Um, so this is after you've ran it through my email verifier, correct? Yeah, absolutely. So okay. I'm gonna go in and I like to do this just to see like all the the BS that I've imported in the past. Mm -hmm. And it shows me too, like how much of the emails that I really don't know that are that that aren't like good emails. Because there's a lot of yeah, like we know a lot of them, but there's a lot of them in there that aren't that we don't know that are like. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go like free domains. And then mm -hmm. say, um, is true, and this is gonna show me. Obviously, some of these are gonna show wow bad ones, but mm -hmm. like earthlink.net like i've never heard of that before wow um, earth wow um, so here 
Interesting. Thank you, Christian. One right here, red if male. I've never heard of that before. To mm-hmm. this question. Um, if you remember when me and you jumped on the call, we talked about yep. this. You know, no, most people don't even know what this is. So mm-hmm. a lot of people import in this and not even know it's a bad email. Mm-hmm. Like uh, charter.net. I've never heard of that before. Um, mm-hmm. Let's see. I, I've seen uh, Rocket Mail too. Yeah. Like, like things like that. So I've just learned that, you know, just to filter these out, all the true domains, just filter them out. Mm-hmm. So what I usually do is, um, um, in like net zero, Google, even though you take out Gmail, you can still be importing mm-hmm. Gmail into it. Google and Mail. Killing you. Yep. So this is after the fact of you taking out um, AOL and everything before you put an email verifier. So yep. um, this is basically a third clean that you're going to kind of do. So what I do is um, uh, I just go in and I say, okay, free domains. Mm-hmm. It does not contain anything that's true. And then I usually try to find one that's true. And then I'll hit enter just to make sure it disappears to make sure it's gone. So this okay. one, for example, this is probably going to be gone. So I know all of them are gone. Mm-hmm. What I'll do is I'll copy and paste it. Let me see. Copy. Sure copy. And I'll put it into a brand new, um, a brand new basically sheet. And ah. then what I'll do just to make sure, like, like even though I'm probably insane to do this, especially with the BS that I've been through, like just to make sure at this point, like mm-hmm. I I do filter options. And I say, okay, is there anything that's, even though I just took out the trues, just to make sure I say is true. And usually it'll show up blank. So I know I got Perfect. all the domains out. Awesome. Then what I'll do is I'll resave it. So I'll export it to a CSV. Mm-hmm. And um, and I'm probably not going to do it with this one because I haven't went down the line for this one. But um, okay. I'll go in and... I'll take the same, the, the list that I used before, that mm-hmm. was the name, I'll copy and paste it. And then I'll, where's it at? And then I'll go back in and I'll name it that same name and, then I'll, and I'll export it and they'll ask me if I want to replace it and I'll mm-hmm. replace it with a good one. If you get what I'm saying. Yep. Yeah. Gotcha. So that's one thing I've learned is that like, that's really, um, I mean, just from my, and I'm sure everybody's been going through all pro. That's why we all aren't here. But um, uh, that's one thing I've learned is to just remove all the free domains. Mm-hmm. And, and this is after you've cleaned it before. So yeah. I guess my question, and this is kind of away from this, is um, the S, this M, this SMTP. So like mm-hmm. um, in order for mine to be able to restore I mean, I'll be real, like, I, I think all pro web tools is good. I think, like, the system that offers as far as the emails that can be sent on a consistent basis and the mm-hmm. climb that it allows you to do on a consistent basis is, you know, almost second to none. Um, I want to use all pro web tools. So I, I don't, I, I told, like, a lot of people that I had spoke to yesterday, and I was, really wasn't happy, I'll be real, that I don't want to use Sengrid, I don't want to use Melgan, I want to stick with all pro. What, is, what can I do to do that? So I clicked on how to restore mine and it's telling me to connect SMTP. So I guess my question to you, Tommy, is what is the difference with me doing it this way than how I was doing it before? Or is it the same thing? I'm just basically, you know, rechanging some things. Ah, good question. So basically the way you was doing it before, you mean as far as like cleaning out your list or using the SMTP? No, no. I See, I think I have the, the list cleaned out perfectly. I think I understand. Yeah. How to do it now. I think, I think, awesome. I don't think, because like, I think you had asked, um, uh, mm-hmm. I think it's Caleb who was on before, you know, yep. I think you had asked some, does this take out all the AOL? Well, even if it does slip through the cracks on email verifier, mm-hmm. if it's a free domain. So it's going to show up as free. So it's going right. to show up. As free. So you're going to be able to delete it either way. You just right. don't get that credit if you can take it out beforehand. You kind of get what I'm saying? Right. So, my question to you is, you know, is this the same? What's the difference between me doing it this way and how I was doing it before? Because I still want to get to a point where I'm, I'm sending out 10,000 a day or whatever the case may be. So, yeah, if you could just gotcha. elaborate on that, I would appreciate it. Absolutely. But can you elaborate on doing what this way? That's oh, where I'm getting so, lost at. 
Yeah, so it says my account. Um, so it says, well, so my account is disabled. So it says I have to restore. Mm. Yeah. So when I click on that, it takes me to uh something like this. Now, I, like I said, uh, I, I see. I don't want to use SendGrid. I don't want to use Melgun. That doesn't interest me. I want to say we're all mm -hmm. pro. So it says get started with APWT and SMTP. So gotcha. what's the difference for me going back through all pro web tools? Mm -hmm. or my um before with with doing it now bef and before my account was you know disabled or um under review or whatever the case may be ah so the difference now is that you and i we've had that uh that that review session right yes, and we learned how to fully clean out the list obviously we can see that you're a pro now <laughs> you're, you're a pro now right yeah. so that was just the difference because before anytime your account goes under review it's because a high amount of bounces or a high amount of spams and no i will get back to you shameem i didn't forget about you i did see you ask to be unmuted so i will get back to you as well um but yeah that's the difference now so what we just need to do um for you specifically christian we'll jump on and we'll have another discussion about your account Okay. Okay. But I, um, but like, I, like, I mean, I, me, me and Shamir were friends, so we've been talking. So mm -hmm. I told, I, when I had reached out to you a couple of days ago, like, yeah. I, I think really if, and, and this is for everybody in the group, if you go in and delete all the free domains, I think that will prevent, I mean, you're going to get spams. I think even if you go to good domains, I think it comes to the territory, but if you, okay. if you delete all the free domains, mm -hmm. it really prevent, you know, all this multiple spams in a day or whatever the case may be over four days. That's one thing I've learned. And um, so, yeah, that's all, right. all I got to really say about that. And um, I mean, what are your thoughts on that, Tommy? I mean, just from where you are at this point, because I, I know mm -hmm. you discovered that based on, you know, I, if I'm correct with me, you were on the Zoom a couple of days ago or earlier in the week. Ah, who? Well, as you were actually speaking, I was actually reaching out to my programming team so we can actually help you get reactivated right now as we as we speak. Let's go. To restore <laughs> Let's that's what I'm talking about. Let's go. <laughs> right. <laughs> so <laughs> yes, that's what we're working on right now. Cause this is this specifically is the reason why we're having this webinar to have these discussions. So as I said, let's reach out. Nah, let, let's not wait, right? Let, let's see if we can do it right now, right? Right now is the time. For sure. And I do see you, Shamim, here. So, um, Shamim, if you don't mind, go ahead and unmute. Oh, did you have any more uh, questions, Christian? Well, did you want me to stop sharing, or how was I, I going to be able to reactivate my account, or did you, is that another call we're going to do? Oh, it's okay. You should be good. Okay. Oh, yes. also, is, is my account active now, or? I'm yeah. Oh, wonderful, man. Okay, well, yep. man. let's go ahead and um, go ahead and actually go ahead and pull it up now and refresh your um, that reputation page. Man, let's see. go ahead and make sure. Shoot. If it doesn't show up yet, then you may need to log out and log back in. Okay. How about I'll, I'll let Shamim do his thing, and if it doesn't, if it's not right, I'll put my hand up again. Okay. Oh no, it's going to be right. I need. To, Oh, okay. <laughs> let, let, let's not wait. It's going to be right. <laughs> let's go, man. Right, so. But Shamim, you should be unmuted. So if you if you have a question, you can definitely go ahead and ask. Right, yeah, guys. yeah, um, yeah, for sure. Thank you, Tommy, for doing this, Christian. Um, my man, my man, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, like I'm feeling a little jealous with this camaraderie now. You know. What I'm <laughs> no, nah, Tommy, we've been talking because uh, Christian and I, we literally had the same issue a couple of days ago. Mm. So me and him and I've been communicating, trying to avoid this. So uh, yeah. I guess my question to you is that even after uh, Christian did all the filtering, basically the way exactly the way he showed you and, and how he's filtering, mm -hmm. that's exactly the way I'm doing it. But awesome. now. The SMTP setting issue that he's having is it ha is it is it that issue is having after he filtered it out, got rid of the free domains, or is this is this something that was before he filtered it out and that's what led to that problem? Because I'm a little scared right now, to be honest with you. Ah, got you. Well, I think when Christian and I was on there, we actually discovered that free domains column together. If I if I yeah. correct me if I'm wrong, Christian. Yeah, I discovered it after the fact. So, like, what I'm going to do is delete everything. Like, you remember me? You talked about it, Shamim. Yeah. Everything and re import all the, um, delete all the free domains that I had before and just basically start from square one. 
So, um, so that's what I would do. Anything you import, just make sure you delete all the free domains and always double check just to make sure because technology can be weird and then mm -hmm. re-import it into all pro, all pro um, web tools and you should be fine because it's the free domains that are killing everybody. Yeah. Um, yeah. For sure. So this is what I've been doing, Tommy. And, and, and thank you, Christian, for sharing that because uh, definitely not going to go through that problem again. And sure. the people that are watching this, like uh, I could tell you guys for sure that like <laughs> you're going to save a whole tons of headache down the line because my jaw literally dropped when I saw my domain was under review and whatnot. So, um, so let's say, um, so let's say, so this is what I've been doing, right? So I filter out, I do the bunch of filtering because Christian sent me a list of 20 or so free domains. So before I upload it to my email verifier, I actually clean, I actually filter those out, right? With, uh, with numbers, you could do up to seven, right? So after I do up to filter seven with, with the free domains, I, I copy that list and then I do the rest of the other domains that are left over because you're allowed to do only up to seven. So after I'm done with, 10 or 15 free domains or so, then I upload that list to my email verified, right? So after I do that, then I, I filter out the free domains because that's where the free domain shows up. Yep. So then once I get rid of the, the free domains, then I try to run it again to see if there's anything that, uh, that are hidden. Most of the time when I rerun the check, like almost all the time, literally I can say that once you filter out the free domains, your list is pretty much good to go. Mm -hmm. So Yep. Is that Tommy? Is that okay? Because like it's it's a very tedious thing and it's a very time consuming. So mm -hmm. I don't want to be doing the same thing after I get rid of the free domains. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. No, as soon as you remove those free domains, yes, you definitely, definitely want to get those. Uh, you, they should be clean. Obviously, just like how you you saw, uh, you want to do like a little more once over just to take a look at it, and then once you import your list into Opera Web Tools, just in case, right? Just in case of maybe one or two of those yeah. main slip through. Then you want to go to that email domains uh, report page. Um, so Christian, if you don't mind logging out and logging back in, you okay. should be good to go. I was just actually going to get to that. <laughs> no worries. Be good. Um, but yeah. And actually, this stuff works, man. Because today I sent out about almost two thousand emails that went out today, and my bounce rate was like literally like twenty emails or so. Yeah. So I was really shocked at that number, and my number is around like ninety four percent right now. So I'm really mm -hmm. happy with that. Yes. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> I really appreciate you guys. Thank you. Tommy. Absolutely. Actually, Shamim, from the list that we cleaned, how many of those lists? What? How big was the list, and how many of those oh free domains God. did we remove? It was a, a list of seven thousand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and after getting rid of the free domains and everything, the list came out to I think uh, two thousand or something. <laughs> <laughs> so five thousand. Oh. Yeah, it, it would have been a. It would have been catastrophic, man. Oh yes. <laughs> oh, thank you guys so much. Oh, is that okay? I'm, I'm sorry. Let me give you back the reins. I'm gonna stop sharing. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. Thank you. thank you so much. And just a couple things here. Um, I know Vince is. Vincent is on. Thank you so much, Vincent, for jumping on with us. Um, if you want to jump in, I do see you, Jolly, and I do see you, Chio. Um, I think Vincent's about to jump off. So, and he had a couple things just to to add to this. If if you don't mind, Vincent. Um, on well, meeting. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm not trying to I'm not trying to confuse anybody by mm -hmm. what I'm about to say or anything. But Tommy, I'm just curious if you've ever run these these tests. Have you ever tried? Because like. I, I don't I, I'm at the point now where I don't really actually use data scraper or my email verifier anymore, which is probably why my my stats are so so good. I mean I just use Zoom info and then I actually go back and double clean it with never bounce again. Um, but before I never ran into any of these issues when I was just using lead labor and never bounced. And so I don't know if that was that goes to credit never bounce against data scraper or goes to credit my email verifier gets never bound. So I'm curious um, to like, if, if you've ever run like maybe a side-by-side -side test between, and Tommy, I'm not trying to just call you up, but anybody just okay. between like never bounce and my email verifier, because it's like, this just seems like a lot of like tedious work that I just mm -hmm. never even had to go through that. Mm -hmm. And don't get me wrong. I think it's good that you guys are doing it, but it just like, 
it, it, I, you're taking so much time to do this that it's just yeah. like, is this really the most efficient way to kind of go about it? You know what no, I mean? So how, do you know if anybody's, do you know if anybody's ever tried never bounce versus my email verify and maybe run two different campaigns at the same time and kind of see <laughs> compare them side to side and see if one is actually like doing better than the other that's a very good question uh, question and no i have not and i was okay. actually curious about that as well as soon as you mentioned never bounce i was wondering about the side by side myself so it's a good point that you yeah. brought up Exactly. So, I mean, yeah. and you know this, Tommy, but I mean, to share with everybody else, like my experience was I never until two, three months ago, or whenever it was mm -hmm. that Ben started sharing data scraper, my email verifier, not to discredit mm -hmm. either of those systems, but um, I only used lead labor for, I mean, eight months, eight to 10 months. And then I cleaned it with never bounce after that super mm -hmm. simple process. I never had to go back and create Excel files, never had to go back and, and delete free domains and never mm -hmm. had to go and do all this other stuff within Excel and like, it just mm. seems like a lot of unnecessary hassle. And yeah, yeah I mean, it, it is harder to, I mean, you, it is more time consuming to do the actual scraping on the labor, but mm. like, like whatever, you just kind of let it sit in the background and kind of go. And, mm. and I mean, you know, I, I closed plenty of contracts. I got plenty of business doing it that way. And the only issue I had was not because of, <laughs> you, you know, you know the, <laughs> yeah. the one time I I, when I had an issue was only because we were working on a duplicate situation and mm -hmm. there were some issues, but that had nothing to do with the emails that I was getting. And gotcha. so like, I just, I'm not trying to like confuse everybody, but mm -hmm. like, I just like, I would maybe suggest if somebody has the time to kind of do a side-by-side -side comparison, because like, it just, I never had to go through all this. It seems like a lot of like, mm -hmm a lot of steps and a lot of risk for your domain um that i don't know i i basically ju i just did it. i did well enough that i got to a point where i saved enough money bought some info and never looked yep. back and then now, <laughs> I, now, I just, you know, and now it's whatever now i don't have to do yeah. anything it takes me i i maximum i spend 10 to 15 minutes a day putting everything together for my emails and wow. i send out several thousand emails a day you know this Tommy. and yeah. so it, it's like and that's what everybody should be doing this in this in the in this group but it's just like i i don't know i would if i don't know if you've ever done that tommy or if you know anybody that has but it might be something that could be worth your time to make suggestions to people absolutely absolutely thank you so much vincent man that sure. oh my gosh you brought up such a good point and i've been so curious about that as well because you know there's so many email verification systems, never bouncer, bounce, my email verifier. Same thing with scraper systems, right? Lead Leaper, right. Data Scraper, things like that, Octopus and whatnot. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm wondering if it's just kind of more of, of which one is going to be easier for you as far as which one is going to be more efficient for your company rather than something like, because I know Ben, like you said, Ben does uh, recommend me, Data Scraper and my email verifier. So I wonder if, I mean, I'm sure you can use whatever it is that you need to use to make sure that it best fits your company needs as well. And I'm not saying, I'm not saying that's, I, I'm in no way going against what we've been saying by any means, but I'm not, and I'm, but I think that's probably the cheapest option, but mm -hmm. would it be better just maybe spend a little bit more money and have a little bit harder of a, of a pro, like maybe spend a little bit more time in the actual scraping to not have to go through all this other stuff later on? Because I'm just saying all I did personally was I just used Lead Leaper and, and Never Bounce and it worked smoothly for me. I saved enough so that I bought Zoom Info and never, then I never looked back. And by never the way, just to let you know, like Zoom Info, who everybody can argue their points. Trust me. I've looked at all the systems and my personal opinion, zoom info is the pinnacle of contact information as far as quality, as far as everything that you're going to get, in my opinion, they're the best. And they use never bounce to clean all their information too. And so awesome. that just goes to say like, yeah, it's more expensive, but I, I don't know. I mean, you know what I mean? So like, mm -hmm. uh, anybody on the call, I would just say, you know, if you have the time, maybe try to do a little bit of side by side comparison. Right. You know, right. Sorry. Thank you so yeah. much, Vince. No problem. Thank you so no problem, much, man. man. Awesome okay. contribution. <laughs> Appreciate yeah. it. Always, no like like Shamim said, always dropping value. All right. No problem, man. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Um, Chao, I think Chao hand was up before. Um, you go ahead and mute yourself and yeah, you know, ask your question. If you're still there, if not, then we move on to Jolly. Hello? 
Hey, Jolly. Uh, yeah, I was stuck on mute for a while. Yeah, I'm trying to get a quick um, screen share so you can just see where I'm at because everybody I know is on, on different levels here. Some mm -hmm. people are like getting 5,000 emails out and all of that. I'm just still trying to get like a, you know, 500 out. <laughs> and I'm, I'm still trying to get through a, a certain process so that I can do that. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's see. If let's I'm see not on the stiff, something needs to be done so that I can like maybe move forward. You know, just look at my account. Yeah. Where are you? Are you want to look at your list or what are you looking at? Well, right? yeah, you can. Well, I, I want to go and and see what's going on with my account. I, it was, wasn't allowing me to um, upload anything. Is like some of the people saying that they were like, um, you know, under they're being, you know, yeah. well, you know, gonna take a look. Yeah. Watch. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to figure out, am I am I on that that list already? If you could just no. see if, if I'm in compliance, that would help. Oh, for sure, yeah. Let's go ahead and let's take a look. Okay, I did this share. Oh. Yep, I can see it's, it, you can uh, see? it's not, not just yet. It's not sharing just yet. Okay. Um, oh, here we go. How about now? And yep, it just popped in. Okay. Now, um, if you could see some of the, the, you know, the warnings or whatever, or important things that I need to check out. Okay. Does this look okay right here? Is everything um, okay with it? So yes and no. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, I see you have your prospecting pool set up. Mm -hmm. have a tag that you have right now, it doesn't have mm -hmm. any more contacts in it. So the system isn't going to add any more people into your campaign because as you can see right here, uh, let me get my uh, let me get my handy dandy arrow out here. Yeah, because if you can tell me how I can even add, because it wasn't even allowing me to add when I went on to um, how to import your contacts. Yeah, it wouldn't allow me to import anything either. Okay, yeah. Can you show me the, what you were doing to to import it so that way we can oh. see what, yeah see what the message is that pops up. Well, I, I should import it from uh, LinkedIn. Is that is that where I should be going or no, um, or somewhere not, else? You're not pulling them from LinkedIn. Uh, what you're actually doing is you're gathering your list from Data Scraper. Yeah, from Data Scraper. OK, so the Data Scraper, I just started with that yesterday. OK. And I'm not sure if I'm doing that right. Ah, I see. So, so that I'm stuck. Ah, uh, I see. So then I would say, because I haven't seen data scraper myself, mm -hmm. I, have, I have not used it myself. So mm -hmm. it would be best to maybe connect with one of the recruiters here on the call to kind of mm -hmm. help you, because I, I really want to have any input on it. <laughs> okay. I just know you gather the list from data scraper. Okay. Can I just, um, you know, just ask any of you, if you're interested in helping me out, please contact me and kind of walk through you know, the process so that I can get compliant and start with my emails campaigns. Absolutely. That'll be I, so I get no volunteers yet. But, <laughs> <laughs> but um, you can you inbox check? me or have a way. How do they contact how would they contact me? Oh, Shamim just put into chat that he can um, just reach out to him and he can help. Thank okay, you, Shamim. Well, Shamim, let me see. Let me see what your name is. <laughs> name. So you want me to contact you on Facebook? Well, you can go ahead and stop um, sharing um, here, Jolly, and then you okay. can actually chat him privately into the Zoom chat. Okay. That way you can, yeah, you can connect there. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Oh, no, you're good. Um, so before we move on to you, Bettina, Cheo, are you back or... Let's see if he's back yet. Nope. Okay, now. All right, Bettina, um, if you want to go ahead and unmute yourself. So I was wondering if, you, okay, so I'm told you I wanted to do number three. Yep. Um, and I'm looking at it and it, it gives me pricing. So am I supposed to pay mm. something in addition to what I'm already paying for All Pro? Ah, I see. I see. 
So your account, um, so your account is actually, I believe this may be the, if you don't mind sharing your screen there for me. Sure. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Okay. Oh, and by the way, guys, um, just to give you a heads up, if you see a person that says the name is Galaxy Tab A, that's my mom. Hey, mom. <laughs> um, I don't see where to share anymore. It's gone. Oh, it should be at the bottom of the, the Zoom window. Like, I don't know if I'm in the middle, but it's usually like right in the middle. The green button that says uh, share screen. Where did we go? I can't find you. Hold on. <laughs> I lost, but it's not showing me. It's not showing you. Yeah, it hasn't popped up yet. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know where it where it went. Hold on. Okay, here we go. I'm here. Can you see me now? Not just yet. Yeah, it's not sharing yet. I mean, I can see you. I can see your picture. Okay. But I can't see your the, your screen though. Oh, there it goes. It just popped in. Okay, cool. So I'm here, and then I click on restore this account, and it brings me here. Then I click them on option three. Mm -hmm. and it brings me here, and I want to do all pro. Got you. Oh, got you. Okay. So here, I would say, let's do this here. Before we jump into this, because I know I know where we're going with this one. Uh, if you don't mind, can we go back to those three options real quick? Sure. Okay, hold on for a minute. Yep. <laughs> one more. Okay. There we go. And if you don't mind, Let's actually click on option one. I know it says 45 minutes. I promise you know, I'm not gonna take the 45 minutes, but I did want to show you um, show you okay. something here since we we're here at this point. So this is actually an email marketing training course that we created to help you guys understand like what's happening with the account and why the account is under review. So you can see here that each course here is maybe a little over two minutes at the most, maybe two minutes here. Mm -hmm. And then let's go ahead and let's click on the one at the bottom of there that says APWT SMTP. Okay. Yep. Perfect. So this here is basically kind of explains um, actually what happened. This will actually answer all of your questions as far as how we can do the APWT SMTP. So we're trying to use the APWT uh, SMTP. Wow, that's a tongue twister. Say that five times fast. <laughs> So with using APW SMTP, it has some information there. And then we can see in the red, where it says account under review and why it's under review. At this point, we already know why it was under review, right? Yes. Yep, perfect. So then what you would do here is if you're doing the training course, mm -hmm. that question right there, that link right there where your mouse is, where it says reinstate your open web tools, yeah, go ahead and click on that. Okay. So this is like a final kind of, I won't say test, but kind of a review, <laughs> a review of everything, just information about what happens, why bounces happen and things like that. And you can actually go ahead and complete this test here. Okay. And this will automatically put in a request to get your account reactivated as Perfect. well. Okay, cool. So if anyone's doing this, we needed to complete number one first mm -hmm. and then submit everything and then go to three. Exactly. Okay. Well, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have to go to three when you do this. Got you. Okay, cool. So I wanted to show you that because that's, a, that's actually a great, uh, great source of information. And it has a lot of things that we actually went over, we're going over today in this webinar, right mm -hmm. in that training course there. Okay, awesome. Thank you. That's what I needed. Awesome. And if you don't mind, can we go back to the menu real quick? Sure. The main one? Yes, please. Okay. And then from here, 
Can we click on the one that says bounces since that's what we're actually talking about right now? <laughs> Perfect. So here, this lesson here explains everything about bounces. There's two different bounces. There's a hard bounce and a soft bounce here. So it does explain everything. Now the hard bounces, as you can see here, if you can read that first sentence, a hard bounce is an email that has never existed, right? And that is going to affect your domain reputation. And too many of those could ultimately land your email on the blacklist, or it could actually land your domain to not being able to send any emails because other email service providers can be like, why are you sending to emails that don't exist? You're obviously buying a list, you're spamming people. So no, we're not going to deliver your emails, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why it's extremely important for you to clean your list because cleaning your list helps lower the risk of these hard bounces, mm -hmm. right? And then right below that, we can see the soft bounces there. And the soft bounces don't affect your domain reputation. And you can see here, these soft bounces are more of the email box is actually you no know, full or maybe the server for whoever you're sending to is kind of like down at that time. It doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. It's just, you can't send emails at that time. Mm -hmm. So that is something that does not affect your, uh, affect your, yeah, yep, and perfect. Yeah, how can I prevent bounce? Tina, you're beating me to it. You're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you know we were going to go there next? Hey, that's the teacher and me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So yeah, let's go ahead and click on that link there. Awesome. So this gives some more information on how to clean your list and why it's important for you to clean your list as well. You can see here all the information. We even have some of those free domains that we were just talking about right there on that list right below. But a great thing here is that when you're sending out the emails, these here, oh, let me get my arrow real quick. Has anyone ever seen any of these emails in their list? Like the domain may be valid, but have you ever seen an email that says do not reply or postmaster or webmaster or info? Those you also might want to look into, actually you want to look into and make sure you're not emailing those as well, because those can also, um, ah, those can also lead to bounces as well. Because those postmaster and webmaster emails are actually emails that, that are, those aren't companies. I mean, I don't know anyone that's named postmaster or department that's named postmaster. So who are we actually reaching out to mm -hmm. with postmaster, right? So these here can also be um, emails, almost like spam traps, right? Blacklist companies will actually create email addresses from dormant domains, maybe with some of these postmaster, webmaster for domains that don't really exist. So when you send to them, they will immediately bounce. But what will happen is that blacklist company or agency will see that you sent or your domain sent an email to an email that's not supposed to get any emails, and they'll automatically put you on the blacklist. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's why, again, that's why it's super duper like crucial that you're cleaning out your list. <laughs> crucial. Yeah, because I'm looking at this list where it has Hotmail, AOL, and I, I was cleaning based on like the ones that Ben was, was giving us in training. Mm -hmm. But I really liked what Chris Christian did as far as the way that he was filtering as well, mm -hmm. and like being left with um, val you know valid and false, you know yes. that that it's like I missed that step because they t we talked about free domains but not to the extent of like where to, where to find them how to sort for those. So what Christian did was was very helpful. Um, awesome. But we have given me another step as far as searching out those hidden um, domains. So that was very helpful. So thank you, Christian, for that. So awesome. Very good. Yeah. Yes. And there's some on this list too that I, you know, that I didn't even think about, like <clears throat> MSN.com, Verizon.net. You know, I didn't even think att.net. I didn't even think about those because I was kind of going by the book on what. Ben was giving, but that makes a lot of sense. And I can see how those might have gotten through my list as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Bettina. 
And thank you so much for sharing your screen as well and helping us go through the training course. Not a problem. Oh, I did see another hand. Uh, nope. Oh, iPhone, not sure, but won't let me unmute. Um, if you don't mind, you want to go ahead and try to unmute now? Okay, this is Chael. I had to get off my oh. computer and get in my car because I had to go somewhere. Ah, got you. Oh. What's going on, so, Chael? Hey, so my question is mm -hmm. for, okay, like as far as my, my, my campaigns that I've created to go out, mm -hmm. so why is it that none of my campaigns actually moved in like, three or four days, like two weeks. And I thought they were going out, but they never actually went out. So like, can you explain why they never actually went anywhere? Um, I could, I would have to see it though, because there could oh, be a couple okay. different things here. Um, yeah, there could be a couple different things here why it didn't go out. So I'll definitely have to see it. Um, wherever you're going, if you're still able to jump back on, feel free to jump back on and open up your account and let's share the screen so we can take a look at it. Okay, yeah, I can right now because I'm actually driving. So, oh yeah, I don't do that while driving. No. Right well, I can because I don't have any time to show you. I'm, I'm not sure what to do. Uh, it's okay. okay. No, how it's how okay. long are you going to be in this meeting? Um, however long there are questions. Okay. <laughs> At this point, okay. I'm running. I'm running on y'all time, so y'all let me know however long we need to, and I'll continue to answer questions. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much, Chael. Thank you. Hey, no, no worries, man. Okay. Go ahead and get that client meeting. Thank you so much for jumping in with us. With the same issue. Okay, Shay. Yeah, if you want to go ahead and share your screen um, and mute yourself. Yeah, let's go ahead and jump in. Let's take a look and see what's going on. Sure thing. Give me one moment here. Welcome. How have you been? I know it's been a, a moment since we've spoke. <laughs> uh, moving and grooving. <laughs> it that way. Okay, <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Give me one moment. I'm trying to access my uh, system preferences here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Using the Mac, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll let you know when I'm ready. I don't want to hold you guys up, but I'll let you know when I'm ready. Okay, no worries. Um, I think Lisa Moody did have her hand up before. Um, if you still have a question, Lisa, feel free to jump in. If not, then I'll continue. Nope, okay, so I will continue. So now, um, one thing that I also want to go over is because, yes, there are some times when you're needing to reach out to support. Um, I want to show everyone our form because our form is a great source for needing support at any given time, right? And I'm not talking about you no know, during business hours from 10 to 5.45 p.m. Eastern time. I'm talking about even at three o'clock in the morning. Now, I know some people or mostly everyone has said this, there are no guarantees <laughs> on immediate responses at three o'clock in the morning. However, that form is a great source of information. So once we're done with Shay, Shay, if you don't mind me using your account as well, uh, once we're done with yours, um, using your account to walk through and how the form works. Oh, I think, I think you're muted now again. Okay, so I think she's probably still still getting there ready. There we go. Oh, there it we go. allow me to unmute. Ah, there gotcha. Go. Okay, cool. So let's take a look. So when I go to um, marketing campaigns, I set all this up uh, sometime last week. Mm -hmm. And I did the four by four by four as far as the days. Uh, awesome. The one. Mm -hmm. um, Perfect. And, and what I've noticed is nothing had been sent, or maybe I'm looking in the wrong area, mm -hmm. um, but I haven't seen anything. Oh, no worries. So let's, if you don't mind scrolling back to the top here. Okay. And then on the top left, the super dad link says uh, marketing campaigns right here. Mm -hmm. Yep, let's click on that. There's a couple ways that you can check this here. One great way would be to click on where it says participants. 
So when you click on this page, this will give you kind of a preview. Um, if you have more than 500 people in the campaign, it'll give you a list of at least 500 of them. So that way it's not trying to load all 1,000 or 10,000 because there's been some campaigns that have tons of people in it <laughs> and trying to load all those contacts. So it'll give you a preview of about 500 of those. But once this actually comes up, it'll actually tell you what step those people are in. So if they're still on step one, then you would know nothing has been sent out, but we can see they're actually on step three. And step three is actually gonna go out on February 28th at 9 a.m. So how can I, I've seen this, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, is there another way to verify if they've been opened or? Yeah, let's go ahead and click on one of those names there. Yep, and let's scroll down. Let's look at the workflow timeline. Okay. So, hmm. so that's interesting because yeah. here is where the emails will display. That's the, yeah, that's mm -hmm. what's been throwing me off because I've I've literally clicked on every single tab possible <laughs> to gotcha. verify like, what's going on. So now let's actually go to your reports on the left side there. Okay. And then let's go to at the top where it says email reports, and then we're going to click on where it says email. Oh, okay. So this is interesting. Give me one second here. See, now we got to add that feature because that report that we've created to help you so you can see your daily sins probably just hasn't been updated on your account specifically. So that way you can see those. So let's instead, okay. I, let's I actually. I think you're breaking up. I didn't catch anything. Oh, no worries. So instead, let's actually go to marketing on the left side. Okay. And we're going to go to reputation. Ah, so this is even more interesting. So now let's go to your settings and let's go to email. Perfect. And let's click on your SMTP uh, settings tab there. So this is why your emails have not been sent out because there's no domain for us to use to send the emails out. So that's why your reputation page has not been show anything. It said, whoops, there's no SMTP. We don't know where to send the emails from. Okay. Makes perfect sense. So I just need to set that up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So I'm able to set this up here. And then I would also recommend going ahead and removing or deleting those campaigns and just restarting them again. Okay. Um, so if I wanted to, because I do clean my list, but you know, with, with all the discussion around it, I just want to go back over it for the umpteen time. Is there a mm -hmm. way to delete my contacts? um and and re-import those absolutely so you want to delete the contacts that you already have and then re-import them again yes so okay. basically start from scratch oh if you don't mind me asking why <laughs> I, I know it's just like you know that that's pretty why would you do that <laughs> um but i guess just me trying to be as, as careful and cautious as possible um, gotcha you yeah. know yeah, absolutely. There is a way that you can wipe your whole account. Um, so now we definitely don't recommend deleting contacts, but if you're willing to wipe it, um, especially if nothing has been sent out, yes, we can actually do that here. So okay. if you go to your settings on the left I side. I don't want to do it now. Just want to know oh, if that was okay. an option. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes, that is an option. Yes. Good deal. So I'll set this up. And then uh, just reinitiate the marketing campaign. Yes, exactly. Okay. Yes, exactly. that works for me. Yep, perfect. Now, if you don't mind, also Shay, since we're actually on here, um, mm -hmm. oh, I do see you, Christian, with your hand up. Um, if you don't mind, let's hit the support button. I would like to actually go through the actual um, forum, sure. and let's hit that top help and suggestions forum. Oh. 
perfect. So here is our Opal Web Tools Forum. You can use this as much as you want, when you want. There's no time. There's no limit to how much you can use it. There's no specific time. If you need help outside of business hours or if there's no more support time or if you out, use this form. This form is crucial because this actually helps. You can actually see other people's posts as well. Um, if you don't mind, Shane, let's click on where it says help and how to use all for web tools. Um, but this one I hear, let me help you out. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, see if you do that at the same time. <laughs> Perfect. So these are actually questions from people using Opera Web Tools. And here you can also look at the questions, you can look at the answers, you can even post or add to these questions or create your own at any given time. And what's great about this is that this goes directly to my support team and my programmers. So we can see this and we check this every day. So this is definitely a great tool to use, especially if you don't have any time or if it's just outside business hours. So I definitely wanted to walk through this here first because this is definitely very crucial when it comes to getting support exactly when you need it. Now, if you're doing it at 4 a.m., again, no guarantees on getting an immediate, <laughs> immediate response, but we will definitely get to you in order that the post has to come in. Sounds good? Absolutely. Awesome, Shay. Thank you so much, Shay. Been very great help. Appreciate you. <laughs> hey, Christian, what's up? You can go ahead and uh, uh, mute yourself, and then yeah. Oh. So, um, I got two questions. So, because, um, basically, what Shay just said, I want to basically like I mean, like I mentioned before, I want to start over too. Is it a bad idea to delete everything, or, um? Uh, or just clean it in the way you were getting ready to suggest? That's my first question. Ah, good question. So I wouldn't say it's a bad thing, but just keep in mind that if you do wipe your whole account, it will also remove anyone that has unsubscribed or any emails that have already bounced. So if you were to import them again, the system is not going to recognize that they've already bounced. It's going to try to send them again. That's perfect because I got a list of everybody that's bounced and unsubscribed. So hey, look, look, see, already prepared, my man. Yeah, yeah. I, I copy and pasted it. So I, I okay. Right. So when I report, reimport everything, I'm gonna go in and delete every email, and it's gonna be tedious, but it'll be well worth it. So gotcha. Bounced and unsubscribed. So um, yeah, any other suggestions that you would mention? Absolutely. Yeah. So if you already have a list of emails that have already bounced or basically emails that you do not want to send mm -hmm. to, you can actually import them all at one time, just like you would normally import your list. And right. you can actually unsubscribe them all at one time. And that will tell the system one, that they're in there. So there won't be any duplicates and two, to never send them emails. That is okay. So it would basically be a better idea just to unsubscribe them. So if I accidentally re-import them again, mm -hmm. okay. Got you. So just, okay, very important to subscribe. My second question is, um, we, me and you have spoke about um, the emails per hour. So mm -hmm. I tried, um, so basically like, let's say for example, I have 10,000. Well, mm -hmm. I tried to cut it up. Let, let's say for example, at 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m. I'm guessing what you're meaning is if there's follow-up emails that day for like a second email, mm -hmm. that would basically tie into that 10,000 per hour from the road. Correct. Got you, but it's not but it's, it's not the ones that you can send out on the first campaign, if, on the email one, if you get what I'm saying. So like, let's say for yeah. example, I send out an email, let's say for example, I send out two different prospecting tools, logistics mm -hmm. and manufacturing, and I say 5,000 for logistics, 5,000 mm -hmm. for manufacturing, but I have 20,000 to send per hour. And let's say on that same day, I have, you know, uh, another email campaign for a follow-up of email three and a follow-up of email four. Well, gotcha. they're all sent at the same, at maybe they're sent at the same time, maybe they're not. Well, really that all okay. ties into emails per hour. You kind of get what I'm saying? I know that's kind of common. Yeah, can, can you show me? Can you share your screen and show me what you mean or show everyone what you mean so that way we can get a better understanding? Um, so like, 
let's say for example, let me get like an auto or two. So yeah, this is perfect. So I got 10,000 right now. So mm -hmm. obviously I can't send out 10,000 right here and I can't send out 10,000 right here, right? Correct. It's only 10,000 for that day, correct? So mm. my point is, well, I can only really start a new, send out 10,000 new campaigns for that day but if I have people on um, brand, if I have people already on campaigns, mm -hmm. then if it's 10,000 per hour, I'm guessing it's meaning 10,000 per hour of people who are already on campaigns. You get what I'm saying? I know that's complex, it's hard to explain. You understand? Mm -hmm. I, I, th I think I kind of get what you're saying here. Yeah. So basically if you have a campaign of let's say 5,000 people, then you create another campaign of 5,000 people, one mm -hmm. at eight, one at nine, right? And they yeah. both go out, in the same day and then following day happens you create another campaign of five thousand people mm -hmm. all right but let's say instead you want to create three of them so now on the second day you have three campaigns going out for let's say 2500 i suppose yeah no, I, I, I think i no i think i'm lost here no, christian no, i'm lost we i'm lost i can't even explain it right how about this time? I'm not understanding. Send out 10,000 per hour. Like, how would I do that? Could you just show me how to do that? Because I'm what I'm seeing is okay, I can send out these five that I can send out basically 5,000 right here and 5,000 right here per mm -hmm. hour, and I'm done. So, how would I be able to send out 10,000 per hour? How do you, how do you, how could I do that? Is it 10,000 per hour or 10,000 per day? Exactly. Can we check? Yeah. Can we go to the marketing and reputation at the bottom. Exactly. Yeah. So um that was oh hold on. Let's see. And that was my question too, is because on the marketing it would say ten thousand, it could it could say maybe five thousand or whatever the case may be per hour. But I know like after I sent out a campaign, it would basically be for that day as far as send outs, so if you get what I'm saying. So mm -hmm. okay. Ten thousand per day. Okay, so let me ask you this. Let's say I send out 10,000 per day for that day and I have follow-ups for that day too. Those are still sent out though, correct? Mm, that's a really good question. Now, when you're sending out your emails, it does uh, max out at 10,000 per day. Okay. So the follow-ups will not be sent, yeah. Ooh, okay. So if I have a person on a four-day follow-up and it's mm -hmm. four days later and it needs to be sent, they won't get those emails sent out. If you've already sent 10,000 emails that day already. Wow. Okay. That's why. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So basically the, what you want to do is basically try to balance out your mm -hmm. follow-ups. Yep. Okay. You want to yeah, try to stagger them out um, as much as possible. So that way you're not sending so many on one specific day, right? Because if you have one campaign, just like you said, of 10,000 people, that means anytime that campaign or follow-up from that campaign goes out, then that's going to be the only thing going out on that day. Got you. So what is a, um, and this is kind of complex, but what is a, a way that you would suggest to send out like, it, it will not suggest is there a way to be able to see okay like you know these are going to be the follow-ups for the day and so you can only really send out this many per day because you're going to have you're going to be sending already sending follow-up emails do you get what i'm saying what do you mean so you can wait so you can see how many emails are scheduled to go out that day i suppose yeah for follow-up so if i want to send out let's say five thousand brand new emails but i have um but i have maybe you know five thousand I have 7,000 follow-ups that are already gonna be sent out. Is there a way that I can possibly know, okay, this is how many follow-ups are gonna be sent to the day. So I know I can't really send out these many emails starting off with you know what I'm saying. I see, I see. I know that's crazy. No, no, that's that's a good question. And I almost was like, man, you had you already asked two questions, two is enough, but <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, no, that's a really good question. And you know what, it's the first time we've actually been asked for that kind of report. So actually, while you're on, let's go to the support right now. Let's go to the form real quick. Yep. And then you see where it says suggestions and features request. Yeah. Perfect. And then let's hit where it says new topic there on the top left. Okay. Um, yep. Perfect. Post that here. Okay. Because everything that you're seeing in all the web tools, this is how it got added. It was posted to this forum.
Okay, I'm gonna try to put it in layman's terms. <laughs> this is gonna be hard. I'm gonna be real. But I'll try to put it in as like layman's terms as possible for them to understand because I know it's gonna be different typing it. But I'll try my best and hopefully they can get back to me. Oh, absolutely. I mean, hey, you know what? Depending on how quickly it can be done, you may even see it added in a few days. Hey, that's amazing, man. That would be amazing. Okay, well, I would definitely. Do that. Um, and yeah, that's actually all I have. So I appreciate you. Oh, no problem, man. Hey, great questions, Christian. Great questions. Let's see, Val, can we pay more to send 20000 in a day? 20000 Wow, Val. So you're really trying to just, you're just really being selfish at this point. <laughs> you just want to take all the money. <laughs> and that's a great question, though. Great question. Now, when it comes to sending 20000 there's two things that you kind of want to keep in mind, that when you're sending 20000 one, how many emails do you expect to send before you get one client? Two, when you're sending volume like that, how are you actually keeping the clients that you have? Like, or do you actually have a staff behind you to help? Because that's a lot of volume, which could give you a lot of clients, but you don't want those clients that you already have to kind of fall off, right? You want to get those clients and keep those clients, right? And that's how you continue to build and scale up. Now, so 10,000 is more than enough? Good question. So from what I've seen, 10,000 is great. Now you can also, on the other hand, you can also put in a, a, a special request to have that ability to start sending out. But it also depending on your reputation history as well. So I'm not saying no, but there is some things that you definitely want to, um, you definitely want to just keep in mind with that. And also uh, at the end, you also would want to have your Opera Web Tools account for at least about six months. At least that way you are already acclimated in how it can be used and sending emails. You have a good, credible reputation, right? You know what I mean? Things like that. Because when you start sending out 20,000 emails a day, that opens up wide to, if you're not cleaning out your list, man, that can bring in a lot of bounces and spams. So definitely keep that in mind. <laughs> Thank you, Val. Shameem, my man. What's going on, Shameem? Hey, Tommy. Uh, I initially had two questions, but uh, Christian just literally took out one of the questions out of my head. <laughs> 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 He's good, man. He's good. He's good. Um, my, my second question, I guess, would be, so let's mm -hmm. say if there's a bounce email, right? Mm -hmm. And let's say those bounce emails came out of your first uh, first, uh, let's say the first, um, first email, right? So when you send out your first email, let's say you got about 20 or 30 bounce emails, right? Mm -hmm. So now let's say if you don't take out those bounce emails, so now the second time you send out the, the second follow-up email, right? Do those bounce emails still get those email or do they add on to the additional bouncing, uh, bounced email? Ooh, Does that make good. sense? Good question, and absolutely not. As soon as an email bounces, that email is automatically unsubscribed, and they will not receive any more emails after that. Okay. Anything that bounces or spams, the system automatically removes them, so they cannot receive any more emails. So does that include for, like, feature campaigns as, as well? Absolutely. For anything. At that point, that email is done. You cannot send any more emails to it. Okay. Good. Yes. And you don't want to delete it, though. You do not want to delete it. Because if you delete it, again, if you're re-importing that list, if you right. list and it has a duplicate, then it's just going to be like, oh, this is a new email. And this try is to a new email. It. Right. Ah, uh, OK, yeah, no, definitely. OK, that's that's good. Um, thank you, Tommy. Uh, for my other question that Christian took out of my head, <laughs> I just wanted to add on to that. Mm -hmm. So let's say you have two campaigns that are going out, let's say one at Monday, the other one mm -hmm. on Tuesday, but both at, at 9 a.m. So now okay. your limit is 10,000 per day. And mm -hmm. let's say with the with the uh, prospecting pool, it's, mm -hmm. uh, it's adding context to that campaign daily. So mm -hmm. now you're, you're, and let's say you're importing, you just keep on putting it into that, uh, that prospecting pool list and it's pulling out and pulling out and you end up being somewhat over the 10,000 in each list in each campaign. So how is it gonna, how is it gonna know which, which list to pull from or like, you know what I mean? Like, uh, 
how does it recognize it? How does the system go about that? Oh, that's a good question. Now, depending on how many you're adding to your campaign, right? If you're adding just 100 a day, one, the system is already staggering it. So you're going to have campaigns going out pretty much every day of the week. But two, also keep in mind as, as you're, the email is adding to that campaign, there are other people in that campaign that's beginning to fall off as well, right? Because you're going to have some being added at one, at the step, that first email, then you may have some at six or seventh email, whatever the last step is in your campaign. And then once they go through that, then they're done with the campaign. Uh, so it's not being so if added. I'm sending out a thousand, let's say today, mm -hmm. so those thousands will be taken off by. Oh, lost it, Shamim. Correct. Sorry, you kind of you kind of went sorry, I'm driving. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm driving. No, you're um, good. No, so as I was saying, so let's say a thousand email was sent out, right? Mm -hmm. So then that that thousand email is not obviously going to get email one. So that one thousand email is going to get pulled from the prospecting pool, correct? To fill in those one thousand position, correct? Or however many you set it up as. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Exactly. Yep. As you're adding people to your cast, the prospecting pool, adding people to your campaign, you have people going through your campaign. And then once they go through it all, then yeah, it's getting removed out of the campaign. So 10,000 emails per day. Now, let's say if we have 5,000 in each campaign that are set to go at 9 a.m., both at the same time, would that, would that be an issue? Would that cause like system overload or something? No, we have people who send 10,000 a day all the time. Say that again, you broke up, I'm sorry. I'll say, no, we have people sending 10,000 a day all the time. Oh, okay. Yeah. From different campaigns? From different campaigns, yeah. Okay. So it's going at that right at that time, or is it just going to spread it out throughout the day? Oh, no, no, no. It's going to go whatever time you set it at. Maybe a little bit later, depending on how many people it's sending. So if you're sending 10,000, right, it may take about... I don't know, maybe 10 minutes for it to send all of them. And that's, yeah. that's a lot of people. Okay. But it's going out. Yeah, it's not going to send like 1,000 at the first hour, then another 1,000 second hour. No, it's going to yeah, send what you did at. That would defeat the purpose. Okay. All right. Yeah, got it. Thank you, Tommy. Appreciate it, man. No, anytime, Shamim. Anytime. All right, cool. Well, I see we're coming up here on just about an hour and 35 minutes, guys. Again, Thank you so much for joining. Did anyone have any other questions before we start wrapping up here? Nope, I will take that as a no. <laughs> oh, I'll go ahead and get wrapped up here. So thank you guys again for joining. We'll be back here next week with a different topic. Feel free again to let anybody know that you feel benefit for you know, these webinars. And thank you so much, guys. Really, really appreciate you. If there isn't any more questions, have a great weekend. Well, have a great night and have a great weekend. And I will see you guys next time. Anytime, Val. Anytime, Shay. See you guys.